Why? Why is it? Why is it that so many people get divorced? It's not important to stay married. I feel like nobody. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's, I feel like it's the outlook of marriage where people get married and it's not, they don't think the decision is through because they could always get divorced. Like, if it's the, right, the wrong person, so it becomes more of a relationship than it does a marriage. Like, we Orthodox um, Christians are taught to believe that when you get married, that's, you know, the person you're supposed to stay with for the rest of your life with. But I just noticed. You know, when I'm, I'm, I don't want to say Americans, but just like generally people these days, mm -hmm. they just they have a way out. So why not? Yeah, it's easy to get divorced too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is easy to get divorced. That's true. I think people get married on a whim sometimes, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. like as a uh, I don't want to say that. Um, trial. Okay. Trial. Trial period. Yeah. Just try it out. I'm Q here too. Let's get married. Doesn't work out. Fine. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I just think there's a lot of like, what do you what do you see in terms of advertising? Uh, what does it tell you about marriage? And and nowhere are you going to see an ad, you know, a Zales diamond advertisement now. Nowhere is going to say that you got to sweat the hard stuff that you have to try and come to a compromise when both of you are really convinced you think the right thing, but these opinions don't agree. You got to do one thing or the other. How are you going to raise your child? Should you do this or should you not do that? How are you going to come to a decision? By your child. By your child. By your child. By your child. But, but our, society, our society does nothing to help us as a whole figure out how to overcome these difficulties, how to overcome the problems, you know, how to make peace with each other. You know what I mean? Think about it up until now you've gone when you've gone to communion, it's been in an attempt to make peace with God and with your family. But imagine if you just had a huge argument with your spouse. And now you need to go to communion. And you understand that to be at peace with God, you've got to be at peace with those who are closest to you and your spouse, who now is your own flesh and blood. I mean that's what the prayers are, the two shall become one. This is your own, you're not even at peace with yourself if you have an argument with your spouse and you can't overcome that. So we have to learn how to, 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 to overcome those difficulties to make, to make peace.